Hey guys, Jack here with another video about Kartra, and I'm going to be really putting it through its paces today and testing how intuitive it is as a brand new platform. And I'm going to do that because I will be doing something for the first time, and we'll be walking through it together, and I have pretty good confidence I'll be able to figure it out. I'll be honest with you, I've never done this before, but what we're going to do in this video is we're going to upload an opt-in welcome message, a video that I recorded to help increase my conversions on an opt-in page I'm running. I'm then going to create the page to put that opt-in into, and finally, I'm going to do a split test where I'll set up a split test between that new page we're going to build together on screen here with an existing kind of simple uh, opt-in form without any video or imagery on it, and I'll show you the dashboard and the analytics section as traffic starts to go into those two pages to show you how it all works together, all right? So it's kind of a tall task we have tonight ahead of us, so let's go ahead and dive into it. So I'm here in my Kartra dashboard, and the first thing I want to do is just get a jump start on the video upload process. So I'm going to go into my videos here on the side, and I'm going to add a video. I'm going to upload a single video, and I will call this Trade Alert Video Opt-in. And do I have a category? I don't have categories yet, so let's go ahead and make a category called uh, Options Opt-in. That is like the most confusing category in the world, but I like to trade options, and that is an opt-in, so that's how we're going to do it. And I will now select Options Opt-in <laughs> as my, <laughs> it's like one letter difference in those two phrases. All right, so it took me a second to figure out where I save this guy, so I will upload him, and he's going to work in the foreground. I thought that would go in the background, but luckily, very quick upload speeds. Optimizing. Okay, so this is good to know, is that you might want to have a separate tab open and working, but let's go ahead and just test out the speed of this platform. All right, so while this file is optimizing, let's go ahead, I'm in a different tab here now, and we're going to go ahead and create the page, uh, because time is of the essence here. So let's go ahead and click plus page, and I want to make a squeeze page, and we're going to look for something that has a video, and you can click the preview and kind of see what it looks like. Uh, it's okay, let's, let's find something a little bit nicer. Video placeholder, a couple bullet points, opt-in form, and then some other stuff, and then some testimonials. I like that. So let's do this. And I will select them, scroll up, and launch the builder. And I'm going to call this Trade Alert Video Opt-in. I'm going to call this Options Traders as my category. And we're off to the races. Let's check in on my video file. Okay, so we're going to bounce back, back and forth a little bit here because I want to make sure we don't waste any time. So on the display, you can see if it's embedded or a pop-up. I want it to be embedded, and I want it to be a responsive size. So you could fix the pixel size, but responsive is definitely where we want to live. And on the appearance, oh, you can put a splash image on the front, not necessary. Show controls, sure. Mute on start, select skin color. What's that mean? So you can see here, I'm changing the uh, play button here. As I like that. That's nice. Yeah, let's go with that blue guy. Auto play on load, sure. Social, sh yeah. show social shares. No, that's not the action I want them to take. And then show overlay title. No, thank you. Calls to action. So this is the cool thing. This is what I wanted to show you guys as we're going through here. So you can actually put an opt-in directly on the video itself. I don't think I want to do that for this use case, but imagine if you were to show like a tutorial or walking through, uh, through a eureka moment and kind of just before you get to that big aha moment for your users, you can have them opt in to get the, the rest of it. It's sneaky. I like that, Kartra. But in this case, we're not going to put any of those on there because I just want them to have access to it this is nice. So tag a lead. So what I want to do is if they visit the page at a specific time through the video, executes a call to action. Very nice. So let's say if they last 30 seconds into the video, I'm going to give them a category here, options trader, and we're going to call, let's call them trade followers. Uh, no, that, cause that, that already means something else in my business. So we're going to call this name uh, interested in trade alerts. watched 
30 seconds of opt-in video message. And then under category, options traders, tag has expiration date, no thank you, we'll create that guy. So now, very nice, so now it's going to have this tag here, if they watch 30 seconds it's going to add that tag. Save that. Oh, I didn't hit add. Okay, there you go. So, 30 seconds, we're going to give that options trader. We're going to say interested in trade alerts. And then remember, so save is green, add is blue. That can be a little bit confusing. We'll hit save, and now we have it. So if they watch for 30 seconds, it's going to add that tag. What will be interesting is they're not necessarily in my system yet. So I'm, I think it's probably done through cookie tracking, uh, but that's pretty interesting. All right, end actions. What does this mean? You could loop the video, you could play another video, or you could redirect to a URL. Now that one is pretty interesting. I uh, don't have a use for it yet, but imagine if it's a series of videos, you really want to get your people engaged, you can go that route. So we'll publish this, and while this guy is publishing, here you go. So now I have my trade alerts video opt-in with a tag added. You can kind of give the, um, you can hover over that and see what happens, what actions you want to have happen happen there you can also see the cta so it'd be how many call to actions you have linked into that video so we have our video ready to go let's go ahead and put this guy into our new template and what i'm curious about yeah so because he had these open at the same time it doesn't have it here yet so if i click this guy no i'll just reload the page no problem so let's Save first, get myself out of the way, save my progress. Okay, thank you. Refresh the page. So it's pretty fun. This is going to be a great tool. I'm really excited to see how the um, split testing works out as well. All right, so it loads up, and this will give you a, a full view of kind of the loading speeds right now. That is one of the small concerns I have, is it has taken a little bit of time to load pages. Now, I'll go to this video, click my pencil, and it should have Trade Alerts Video Opt-in, the one we just loaded. And it's going to, I guess it's going to offer you the same options here. If you want to make it autoplay, show controls, mute, and apply. Okay, so I'm going to, let's see, let's do a couple things here together. So let me change this background here because I just don't care about Pac-Man. And we'll go to edit. I want to change it to an image. And you have some options here. So I could take some pictures of me, you know, look at my pretty face. Or we could go kind of the uh, stock image route. And I'm going to look for stocks just to see what they have here. And I mean, that's not bad right there. So I think. I'm going to do stock market. I like this guy. He looks nice. He looks smart. Select that. Move myself one more time. And I'll apply it. And you can see there, okay, it's kind of right behind what I'm looking for here. Let's see if in style we can adjust that. So we can add padding. What if I added 150? padding. Okay, that just adds more space. Not really what we're looking for. And you could adjust the... You know, I still like it. I'll leave it like that. So what I'll do here is go to my form, click my pencil one more time, and you get to very easily select your opt-in form, trade notifications, just like that. You have this. So what I'll do here now is I'll pause the video and just change some of the text on the page. And when we come back, we'll be ready to go to the next step together. So I've started updating some of the copy here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward the video at this point so you can kind of see the rest I'm, I'm doing here. because You'll see the user, user interface. And I'll come back when this page is ready to go. And we can move on to the next step. So here we go.
Okay, so uh, at this point we have our video, and we're, let's go ahead and do a quick preview. Make sure it's all working correctly. Open the preview. It should automatically start in play. They have the ability to full screen it. See what I trade when I trade. Want to trade with me? There's their opt-in. A little bit of social proof here, and um, making sure that they know other people have done this before, and I'm not a shyster. And so that'll do it. So let's go ahead and get out of my preview. We will save this, publish live. And I guess I'll get the link, but I don't need that for what I'm doing here. And there we go. So now just save progress and exit to the dashboard. So here's where the blind is leading the blind. So I've created my two pages. I uh, Let me just show you real quick here. This is the page that I'm gonna be split testing against. I'll just do a quick preview so you can see it's just a very, I mean, it's clean, it's nice. It um, gives kind of the same calls to action here. But let's go ahead and scroll up to the top here and go to the split test section. So this is one that I am super excited about. Thrive Themes, which is one of the builders I've been using in the past, they've recently launched uh, what they call slot Thrive Optimize, which is a split testing tool. Um, so I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison at some point on these two tools. But today, let's go ahead and just split test our pages. So we can rotate different pages to monitor which one pulls in higher conversion ratios. Let's see how this works. So I'll call this trade alert opt-in page video versus non. Always good to make sure you know what it is you're testing. So we get to select multiple pages up to four pages. So that's good to know up to four option trade alerts opt-in and I guess you have to go ahead and tell it that you, you're going to want to put 50% split there and then let's go ahead and add oh there they are there's all my pages can I go down to a category oh I'm sorry I'm sorry so I want the destination page options add the pages you want to test against each other and their respective rotation percentage so that's the page i want to test and i also so you're good there let's also do what i just call it trade alert video options what we just made and we'll do 50 percent here okay so 100 percent. so it looks good i'm testing these two pages against each other hit next so the type of goal we want, oh, this is nice. So I just want an opt-in and I get to select the opt-in that they are going for. So the trade notifications, you know, it would be, it would seem that if you're doing an opt-in, it should be able to, de to detect the opt-ins that are on the pages, but that's a very small action that I need to take. So there you go. And I'm going to hit next. Very nice. So don't select auto winner and automatically pick winner. So when a milestone is reached, let's see a thousand visitors and redirect all traffic to the version of the highest goals per visitor revenue. Oh, very nice. So here I clearly want a goal per visitor and after a thousand visit. So this is where they're not really using the statistics here. You, I mean, I'm a six Sigma black belt. If any of you geeks know what that means, it means I like statistics and math. And really, this is not the best way to select a winner just by putting a strict um, count of events that you want to gauge against or judge against. You should really want to look for confidence levels, like, for example, a 95% confidence, which could happen before a thousand visitors, and it could happen way after a thousand visitors, kind of dynamically based on, you know, the probabilities. If you're getting a ton of wins on, let's call this page A. If all the winners are over here, you might know with statistical significance at 500 or 250 visitors. But, you know, that's okay. I think that, especially since it's all built in and this is version one, uh, this is perfectly fine. And also, you can, I'm assuming I'll be able to go back in if I want to override. And let's say I'm at 500 visitors and I check in on the status of it, I should be able to make my own decisions. But since I don't have the most traffic to this yet, I'm not running paid ads to this opt-in yet. Here we go. 
So a new split test, add tags. I need to tag the users that access this link. Let's see what that is. Options traders. And I don't know entirely what this tag is going to be showing, but let's just say uh, trade alert split test user. Let's see. So I don't even know how I would call this yet. All right, so, and, I, uh, and this is a nice thing. You can actually color your people here. And you must write a description for every tag. Uh, opted in during split test. And I'll create this. Access this link. So this is interesting. Let's, let's find out what this does. I'll do a follow-up video. Oh, I see. Okay. So there's a specific link that goes to the split tested version. And so I guess what this is saying is that if the users sign in or go to my opt-in page using this specific link, then it, it will know that it's during the split testing campaign. I'm curious, and I, I'm assuming what's going to happen here is once the automatic winner is selected, this same link should still 100% direct to the winning uh, page. So that's the link to my split test campaign. It would definitely be a pain if I, let's say I have 40 YouTube videos all funneled into this one opt-in page. I put this link here and as soon as the test is over, it stops working or it doesn't, might continue testing even though I already know the winner. I don't think that's what's going to happen here. And here you go. And so this is the analytics that it'll show you. So split testing and you'll allow yourself to pick which split test you're looking at. You'll be able to see how many pages are in the split test, how many days the test has been running. How many visitors have gone through it? How many goals have been achieved? The revenue you've produced from that split test? And very nice, so the percent certainty. Let's go ahead and read what the description is here. The ratio tracks how statistically relevant, here you go, see I take it back. How statistically relevant the campaign results are, the larger the data spectrum, visitors, days running, etc. The wider the gap between the winning version and the rest. There you go, you want to see this ratio above 90% to validate the campaign. So they're right on the same page with me, which is fantastic and it shows you what's going on here this is great you can toggle between percentage of visitors or number of visitors etc etc and so there you go so we're able to uh, set up a split test upload our video if we go back to the video section we'll be able to see some statistics on the videos watched itself and uh, this is a pretty cool tool so you have some act actions down here if you want to end the split test early or edit the test there but I'll let this thing run for a little while and just kind of track the results. So I hope this was a helpful video. I hope you enjoyed kind of watching me learn as we're going here and just kind of proves to you how intuitive and relatively easy to use this system is, even if you're doing something that you've never done before. And setting up a split test is generally not one of those easy kind of walkthrough on video for the first time activities. It's one that you have to study. So uh, definitely I, I give two thumbs up for how this process has been going. And if you want to check out Kartra, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. And that is my referral link. And I'll get a little bit of a you know, pat on the back for sending you that way. But I hope this will help you grow your business and uh, just have a, a joy using it. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.